don't want you to think that, oh, it's baby weight, it just fell off, or oh, you were breastfeeding, so that's how you lost 30 pounds in two months. Like, no, no, because there was some struggles with all of that, okay? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Janae Lee and thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching me today. On today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I lost my first 30 pounds. So, and that was 30 pounds in two months. So if you are interested in how I did this, then just keep on watching. Okay, so if you watch my, um, my weight gain story video then you know i had my second child in october of 2020 and when i gave birth i was 284 and when i a week after i had given birth my highest weight was 280.4 i believe so that's the highest i have ever been in my entire life that is when I started my weight loss journey again. I had to wait the seven weeks to get cleared from my doctor to go ahead and start working out. So that was in November, pretty much, I think it was like a week before Thanksgiving or a week after, um, cause my appointment was a little, it wasn't exactly at seven weeks. So yeah, somewhere around then. So, and I was breastfeeding, but I was not really successful with breastfeeding. So I don't want you to think that, oh, it's baby weight, it just fell off, or oh, you were breastfeeding, so that's how you lost 30 pounds in two months. Like, no, no, because there was some struggles with all of that, okay? So what I did was I got on the TDEE calculator.net, and I still use this. I've always used this to this day, and I'll show you probably right here like what that looks like. So what I did was I went in, put in my age, put in my height, put in my current weight, um, and it told me what my calories should be. And I stayed at my maintenance calories. Now, your maintenance calories is the calories you need to eat to maintain your weight, not lose, not gain. So that in itself was a calorie deficit for me because I know I was eating well over my maintenance calories. So I wasn't too much into cutting my calories because I was breastfeeding. Um, so that's what I did. I ate at my, my maintenance calories. And then once I was cleared to actually work out, I took it slow because I had a C-section. So I did one muscle group a day. So arms, which was biceps and triceps, and then back, shoulders, chest, legs and i did not do abs until like january um and then i did about an hour of cardio very lightweight either walking or on the elliptical so i did that and i stayed consistent with that and also while i was pregnant i was used to drinking a gallon and a half of water i was just always so thirsty while i was pregnant so i drank a gallon and a half of water every single day and i still carry that on until about january and that's when it kind of started to die down now i get about a gallon a day like i for sure get over a half a gallon but i try to stay as close to a gallon a day as possible but that's what i did um back then so it worked doing this worked for me I dropped 15 pounds like that by December 15 pounds was already gone and then I it was at a standstill it was at a stand I could not understand I didn't know what was going on and I think it was just like I don't know maybe my body was just going through the motions of me being pregnant hormones like I don't know what was going on but I was at a plateau already and it only had been a month in my journey and I that's when I decided to start going into a slight calorie deficit so I started at 250 front so I subtracted 250 calories from my maintenance calories and with this 
what I did was for as far as my eating is concerned what I did was a high protein and moderate carbs moderate fat um, so when you do the TDEE calculator it can it'll give you like suggestions on how to cut how to bulk um, if you want to do low carb high carb or whatever so I pretty much adjusted my macronutrients based off of that and I ate very high in protein and it kept me nice and full and that <laughs> to this day is still working for me eating very high in protein so I started to go into a calorie deficit and I still ate very high in protein and with that started to shift the scale so I started to lose weight again so let me give y'all some dates so this is the Fitbit app this is the app I was using in the very beginning I don't know if you can see this clearly but from here October 16th I was 280.4 pounds so I lost all of my baby weight by October not October January 13th I was 252.2 and I'll insert right here like what my numbers was what where I started my um, pregnancy at so that you can see like I had basically lost 32 pounds in what two months November December December January <laughs> I had lost two um, 30 pounds in two months just by paying attention to my calories so using a TDEE calculator dot net eating my, at my maintenance calories, eating high protein, lower carb, then going into a slight calorie deficit of 250 calories and only still, cause I still only did an hour of cardio and then one muscle group every day, um, which probably only took me 20 minutes. So at the, at, in total, I probably worked out for an hour and 30 minutes, five days a week, and Saturday and Sunday, I just had like an active rest day. So I'm sorry if this video isn't in more detail because it's July. No, it's August now. I don't exactly remember what I did, where I was at on a day-to-day -day basis. Those are just the main things that I did to lose the 30 pounds in two months. But since then, I had suffered through postpartum depression and just was unmotivated, unmotivated to do anything. Like I threw pretty much everything out the window, like as far as my eating and my working out. And I'll probably do a video on that later, but I have been coasting in the 250s since mid January. And um, I am now in better mental health so I am back on my weight loss journey so from now I decided that I'm going to share my weight loss journey and like I just mentioned I don't exactly remember what I did specifically in very detail of what I did to lose the 30 pounds but this is why I am recording my weight loss journey now that way you all can see my day-to-day -day, which I'm doing on Instagram and I'll put my handle right here so you can see but I'm also recording like my weigh-ins my tapes my before and after yeah. pictures like everything say hi mama <laughs> So I am posting all of that stuff that way um, you all can see exactly what I'm doing and so that I can see what it is that I'm doing and what is working for me so that if I hit a plateau, I'm like, all right, like I can go reevaluate what is it that I'm doing and then adjust from there. Like I said, I have been coasting in the 250s. I have well over 100 pounds until I hit my goal weight. So there is way more to come, so much more to come. I naturally just been coasting in the 250s. Every time I lose and gain weight, I always come back to the 250s. So this is gonna be very interesting for me on how I'm going to break that and keep the weight off and maintain the weight off as I go. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below what 
any tips, tricks that helped you. Maybe I can go ahead and try that as well. Right, mamas? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video and listening to how I lost 30 pounds in two months. Thank you so much for watching me, Janae Lee, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.